And here we go on our Wednesday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. A lot of news to get into, so we're going old school here. We're just going to talk about the news of the day. Uh, Mary Kay Cabot, Scott Patsko, and I. All right, let's start with this. The big news today, I guess we'll call this the big news because it could affect Sunday's game. Nick Chubb, uh, positive for COVID-19. Demetri Felton as well, positive for COVID-19. So the Browns' only running back that they have really who you can count on is Dearness Johnson at this point going into the game. Uh, Mary Kay, this was sort of, I guess, a worst case scenario going into this game. You want to have Nick Chubb. He played really well on Sunday. You kind of found yourself offensively. And here we are. We've kind of got to play the waiting game because uh, if, if he is in fact vaccinated, then he needs to test negative twice within 24 hours uh, or negative whatever, negative twice, 24 hours apart. (laughs) We were talking about this before the show, uh, if he's going to play on Sunday. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there are extenuating circumstances. I mean, if he's actually sick and he has symptoms, then he might not be testing negative over, you know, the next couple of days. I mean, we just don't know yet. If he's asymptomatic and he totally feels fine right now, he might be negative tomorrow or the next day or the next day, and he can get back on the field, but you never really know how that's going to go. You got to get those two negative tests, 24 hours apart. And, um, and the deadline is Saturday. So by Saturday, they have to test negative, uh, in order to be able to play. So the deadline is Saturday at 4 PM. And you definitely don't want to be without Nick Chubb in this game, going up there to new England and playing uh, a Patriots team that is playing very well. Another reason for that is because, of course, as we know, we don't know if Kareem Hunt is going to be back for this game yet. We never really expected that he would be back this week. If he is back by this week, I think it would be a surprise. Uh, Now, he is a fast healer, but originally he was supposed to be out around four to six weeks. So I think it would be a stretch to think he's coming back to play against the Patriots on Sunday. Stranger things have happened, uh, but as of right now, I don't think that's the plan. Yeah, Scott, this is an interesting situation for the Browns on the Kareem Hunt front, because when Mary Kay said that name, it it made me wonder, do they push it a little bit with Kareem? But obviously that wouldn't be the the wisest thing to do. How how would you approach that? Yeah, it's funny. I I was doing the, I was kind of tracking their uh, pursuit of, you know, double 1000 yard seasons, Hunt and Chubb and, you know, and, I was kind of looking at this this week, like best case scenario, he comes back, there's still a chance, but then the whole time you're thinking, yeah, that's, that's really a quick turnaround. And I think beating the Bengals on the road, maybe made this game a little less important. Obviously they're all important, but you know, it's not, you lost to the Bengals and now you're really in trouble. Um, so I don't think you push people to come back. And I don't think Kevin Stefanski would do that anyways. The good thing is all this happened on a Tuesday and I'll probably just take Kevin Stefanski's advice. He loves to say we're just dealing with today and we'll move from there and see how it goes. And, uh, you know, two days from now, everything could be fine. But right now there's just a lot of unknowns. Okay. So for each of you here, Mary Kay, what's your confidence level if Dearness Johnson is the guy again, like he was a few weeks ago against Denver when he had, I mean, look, he had an amazing game, a game that people are still talking about. So what's your confidence level in Dearness Johnson, if he's got to be the guy going into Foxborough? Well, I would think that Dearness Johnson, if he is the workhorse back in that game with the offensive line that, that the Browns have, I think that, that he will fare pretty well. So, you know, I will think, you know, I think that he'll make his yards. I mean, even though they have Blake Hance playing at right tackle right now, he's playing pretty well. So I still think that, um, you know, that Dearness will have another opportunity to go out there and have, you know, make a statement and say, I belong. And we're not going to panic just because right now we might not have Nick and Kareem again. So I I think they'll be all right in the run game. 